It is far more than four walls and a roof, it is a sanctuary and a shelter. Some homes are more unique than others. Some people are forced to get creative because of some physical restrictions, like small or unusual space, while others do so just because. In this video we will be seeing few of the weirdest houses around the world. Carrot House is a structure and art installation in Warsaw, Poland. Carrot House is planned to be located on a plot measuring 92 cm in its narrowest point and 152 cm in its widest point. The iron structure contains two floors and has one bedroom, a kitchen, a bathroom and a living area. It has two non-opening windows, with sunlight also entering through translucent glass panels that make up the walls. Entry is by stair up from ground level, and when it comes to access to the main living area, it's ladder or nothing. Carrot House, as it has come to be called, takes its name from Edgar Carrot, the Israeli author who will spend time there. The Transparent House by Su Fujimoto Architects is one of the most unique designs that you will ever see. Located on a small side street in a very lively and hip part of Tokyo, the 914 square feet house is made up of 21 individual floor plates each ranging from 21 to 81 square feet. The house was inspired by our ape ancestors who lived in trees. While the house offers a brilliant array of sunlight during the day, there is absolutely no privacy. The white tinted birch flooring and stairs blend with the structure and serve as a visual transition to the chunky wood sashes and frames that outline the operable windows. Constructed between two giant stones and linked with a concrete mix, the house is rumored to be inspired by the popular American Flintstones cartoon. Casa do Panito or the House of Stone was built in 1974 by four different boulders. The house is fairly well equipped, although there is no electricity, it does have a fireplace and even a swimming pool which has been carved out of one of the large rocks. As you might expect, the house's design attracts thousands of tourists each year. The Matchbox, a 140-square-foot home that's entirely carbon-neutral, off-grid, and self-sustaining. This house of J. Austin is a good innovative house. Austin has since completed the interiors of his Matchbox home to impressive effect featuring a well-lit, modern interior that feels much bigger than its 7.5 by 19 feet. The best thing about this loft is that you can stare out of the night sky from bed, thanks to a strategically placed skylight window. Located near the town of Bajina Basta, Serbia, this tiny house balances on a rock in the middle of Drina River. And it has been doing so for the past 47 years. The idea for it came in 1968, when a group of young swimmers out having a splash in the river needed a place to rest. As they wanted shelter from the sun, they began to build up, and the idea developed. The following year, one of the swimmers turned the rough idea into an actual construction project of this one-room home. Eco Bike Trailer is one of the smallest house built by Paul Elkins, is yet most festive home. It is designed in a way that feels like riding a motorcycle. Toilet, bedroom, kitchen, and bathroom areas are equipped within it. It is a house of standard size that an individual can sleep fully horizontal with legs tucked under a kitchen. A small battery could be added to provide electricity for kitchen essentials during stops, or renewable energy could be employed in order to supply some power for cooking, lights and so on at night. It is considered as the great house for the travelers. This giant seashell house is located in Mexico City and was built and designed by Arquitectura Organica's own Javier Sinocian. The home was built back in 2006 and features a smooth front facade met with a giant wall of colored mosaics, lighting up the living space in a stunning rainbow effect. The Nautilus house is earthquake proof and maintenance free. The more private spaces like TV room, bedroom, and bathroom are located within the center of the spiral, accessible by a spiraling staircase. The Nautilus House is a wondrous demonstration of creating human abodes using nature's design and possibly a mind-altering substance. 
In order to maximize the existing land, an architect built a cabin called the Bunkie at the edge of a lake in Toronto. The Bunkie was originally conceived as an overflow space for cottagers in Canada's beautiful Muskoka region. BLDG workshop architectural designer Nathan Buller originally brought his half-cocked idea for a flat-packed cabana to industrial designer Evan Baer shortly after the two met at Toronto's 2011 interior design show. The building is dominated by glass openings can be used as a bedroom and play area. The Bunky collection comes in four distinct models that can be combined with a large range of interior options to fit anyone's lifestyle. And hence is considered a good looking house. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and put a thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video.